Welcome back as we get set for the fourth quarter action here in game one of the NBA Finals. Portland and Chicago both trying to jump out to an early lead in this series. And so it's Porter bringing it up now for the Portland Trailblazers. And guys, I don't think there's a better crowd in sports than this Bulls crowd. They can make it deafening in here. Michael Jordan is out there with B.J. Armstrong. Then it's King. Then it's Williams. And it's Hanson in at the three spot. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Williams can't hit. And so here's Portland. And when you've got a crowd this enthusiastic, Clark, and a player as exciting as Michael Jordan, that is a pretty potent combination. Combustible is a word that comes to mind. <laughs> really a match made in heaven. I mean, MJ feeds off of that energy of the crowd. And when he needs a boost, they give it to him. And vice versa. Outside, Jordan to come right back with the three of his own but it's no good and it continues to be a battle for Porter against the Chicago Bulls Clark he can't get any traction well Chicago's defense has been a real Rubik's Cube for him mm. he just can't seem to solve it the Blazers are going to have to do a little bit more to try to get him some easier looks and that one's good by Porter a beautiful lead pass catching him right in rhythm and just doing his thing We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. King outside. Pass to Hanson. And Jordan has it in the corner. This is truly sensational. Michael Jordan's long-range shooting beyond containment. And this arena is loving every moment of it. Here's Trexler. Outside for Robinson. That one, no good. And Chicago will go the other way with the ball. And Jordan's three-point output has been a huge story once again here tonight. And that's not usually where he makes his mark. If he continues to pour it in for long range the next few games, the Blazers will have their hands full. Absolutely. Just five to shoot. Bryant finds Robinson. From deep. Porter, no luck. That's a shot the defense will let him have. Well, it's a low percentage look. Sometimes they go in, but not often. And that one, good. Armstrong's got his first points of the game. Good energy from Armstrong. Hustling to find himself a mid-range look. Porter passes to Bryant. Good, and a nice assist from Porter. Porter's got assist number five here tonight. Excellent vision on display. Dropping a dime to set up his teammate. Another three for Chicago. Well, they have been raining threes here in the second half. And when a team is locked in like this from outside, they become hard to beat. Jordan against Drexler. In the corner, it's Robinson. Just five on the clock. Drexler kicks to Porter. Off target with his three. Bulls leading by 23. Jordan with it. And Drexler picking him up. A three-pointer is right on target. Hanson's got six in the quarter. And they have not let up. They are still in attack mode despite their sizable lead. And I like that mindset. Never let up. You don't want to give the opponent any opportunity to get back in this one. It doesn't go for him. Good D by Jordan. Dishes it to Armstrong. Banked in off the glass. When you face Jordan, you put so much focus on MJ that it creates openings for other guys. Coach, they're ice cold on the offensive end. Well, something has to change. It's stolen. Right wing. Here's Armstrong. Another three for Chicago. Here in this fourth quarter, it has been all about the three-point shot for them. Absolutely making it rain. And there's no better time to pick up points in a hurry. Porter against Armstrong. Porter passes to Robinson. 
to halt the run. Count it. And, you know, he's going to take that shot every time. The defense has to respect him from the mid-range. Out to the right wing. Here's Hanson. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And the Trailblazers with possession here. Outside Robinson. Unloads from 13. And it's Trexler missing. And so it's Williams who brings it up for the Chicago Bulls. Hanson. The putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. There's that rebounding that Scott Williams is known for. I love seeing him go after the offensive glass like that. 52 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Porter dishes to Drexler. Back to Porter. And a great assist by Drexler as that one goes in. You have to like any chance that close to the hoop. And here's Jordan outside. Trills the three-pointer. Jordan's got 46 points. What a way for them to finish the game, closing it out with some terrific play. We've seen too many games slip away late. They did a great job of putting this one. They could have used this run much earlier in the ball game. Too little, too late. But hey, it's something positive to take into the next game. Let's it go from deep. Hanson can hit. Robinson left side. Uses the glass to finish the way. Robinson. A true passer at his position. Drexel is all about doing what he can to get the win. Armstrong with it. This one for three. No good there. And with this victory, the Bulls stand just three wins away, Mike Fratello, from their second consecutive title. And it looks like they are determined to make that happen. Michael Jordan's got one finger on the trophy already. And you know the Chicago crowd will be ready, Clark, for game two. This building will be rocking. No question about it, Kevin. It will be a great atmosphere, but don't count the Blazers out now. There are still three games ahead in Portland. And that building has its own set of problems for the opposition. Well, you've played there. No one should know better than you. Yeah, it's a tough spot. Great fans, but they're hard on the opponents. Clark Kellogg, Mike Fratello, and David Aldrich, and the rest of our 2K team, this is Kevin Harlan signing off. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.